Hi everyone, Tom here from Frontend Beginners and in this video we'll look at how to center text both vertically and horizontally in CSS Flexbox. For this example I've set up a simple flex container that's 1000 pixels wide by 650 pixels high. Inside my flex container, which is this div here with a class of container, I'm going to create a single span element and give it some dummy text of this is a single line of text. When you have a flex container with just one child item inside of it, like we have here, the simplest way to position it dead center inside the container is by targeting the single element and setting its margin to auto. So here in my CSS, to target this single span here, I'll first target the container class followed by a space and then the span element inside of the container. I'll then set its margin to auto. This one rule will perfectly center the span element both vertically and horizontally. This will only work if the parent container has its display set to flex, as mine does here in the CSS. One issue with this method is when you try to add in additional elements. For example, let's add in an H2 here above the span. This is a heading. And then I'll change my CSS selector to target all elements inside of my container div. When we look in the browser, we can see that these two elements are not positioned together in the center of the container, rather they are side by side. Because I'm working in the default row flex direction, my two child flex items are positioned side by side along the horizontal axis. The margin auto property is applied to both items, giving them equal margins on each side, which spaces them apart from one another. To fix this, we need to wrap our two text elements inside another element. So let's create a div here above these two elements and give it a class of center text. I'll then cut and paste our two text elements inside of the wrapper div. If we look at the HTML for a moment, we can see that we have our parent flex container, the div with a class of container, and it now has only one child flex item inside it, the div with a class of center text. Because this div is now the only child flex item, the margin auto property will perfectly center it inside the parent flex container. I'll just update my CSS for clarity by changing the selector to our new center text class. As we can see, our two lines of text are now positioned together in the center of the container. If we add in a third element here, for example an h3, this is a subheading, we can see that all three items are centered together. Just to clarify, the margin auto property will perfectly center an element inside its parent flex container as long as it is the only child item. To center multiple items in this way, you need to wrap them inside their own inner container, as we've done here with the center text div. Let's move on to a different method now, using justify content and align items. We'll begin by deleting this margin auto rule on our center text div. As we can see in the browser, the default position for our text elements is the top left corner. When working in the default row direction, as we are now, if we wanted to align the center text div in the horizontal center, we'd simply need to apply justify content center to the parent flex container. As we can see, our text is now centrally aligned along the horizontal axis. If I comment out this justify content property for a moment and then instead apply align items center, 
we'll see that the text is now aligned in the vertical center, but returns to the default left edge of the container. To position it dead center, we simply need to combine these two properties. So if I add this justify content center property back in, we now have both justify content center and align items center. Looking in the browser, we can see these two properties together have aligned our text in both the horizontal and vertical center. Just be aware that if you're working with a flex direction of column, these two properties work along opposite axes. So far, we've looked at a very simple example where we have a parent flex container with a single flex item inside it. This single rectangle is not a very common layout on the web, so let's now make this a little more realistic. First, I'm going to comment out this center text div, and then I'm going to make a simple mini web page layout inside of my gray flex container. At the top here, I'll add a div with a class of header, another div with a class of content, and one more div with a class of footer. Please note that there are HTML elements that are much better suited for these purposes, but I just wanted to keep things simple here in this example, so I'm only using divs. Inside my header, I'll add an h2 with the text header. Inside my footer, I'll add a span with text of footer, and then I'm going to cut and paste our center text div inside our content section. In my CSS, I'm going to delete the justify content and align items properties and change the flex direction to column. I'm also going to target my content div and set its flex property to a value of one. This allows our content flex item to grow to fill all available space inside the container. This simply keeps our header at the top, our footer at the bottom, and our content area has now expanded to fill the rest of the space. Now we have our parent flex container with three child flex items inside it, our header, content, and footer divs. To center our three lines of text inside the content area, we simply need to use one of the methods we discussed earlier in the video. The first step is turning our content flex item into a parent flex container itself. So we'll target our content div and set its display to flex. Next, we can apply justify content center and align items center to our content flex container. Our text is now perfectly centered inside this section of our layout. Or we can delete these two lines, target our center text div, and set its margin to auto. This achieves the same result. So, wherever you are in your Flexbox layout, if you want to perfectly center text inside of a flex item, you first need to convert that item into a flex container by setting its display to flex. You'll then be able to center its child flex item using either margin auto or justify content and align items. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.